my actual plan for Jerusalem involved um, taking one of my treasure stashes or maybe a couple of them because we have treasure stashes, you know, the Illuminati or the, the whatever, what were we called? The Knights Templar. We disappeared with a bunch of gold. The French king got mad. He was going to kill us. And then we just disappeared in the middle of the night. No one knows where the gold is. But that wasn't the only time because um, we are old, like ancient Egypt old, which is why um, if you really want to go back to where we begin, I'm pretty sure you want to go to Egypt. Um, but a lot, of, a lot of people would say Mesopotamia, but I'm pretty sure it was Egypt where we really began. Um, and that's why we always came back and conquered Egypt to take the gold. All right, so um, when I talk about Jerusalem and me having a throne bed in a very holy place because it's got a rock where Abraham was going to sacri sacrifice Ishmael, not Isaac, because that's what the Muslims believe. Um, and so you, you definitely can't fornicate there in wedlock, in wedlock. Um, and you definitely can't fornicate um, in the basement of where Jesus was crucified, but it sure doesn't look like where Jesus was, was crucified, cru crucified. It looks like um, where Jesus would overthrow the tables of the tax collector. Um, but um, that's kind of what Coptic Cairo looks like too, where the oldest churches are. It looks like the place. It looks like a place where um, you're walking through a gift shop uh, up until you reach your pew. But Church of Holy Sepulcher isn't a giant gift shop, but it is gaudy, and it sure doesn't look like Jesus was there. But it is very old. Um, but I okay. So I think the point I'm trying to make is that I want to make Jerusalem better, and so I want it to be filled full of gold, gold statues. Not well. Um, you can believe that I'm going to make idols because I'm Satan, um, but. In reality, um, if you actually believe that there's power in a metal object, then you're stupid. And the fact that you don't understand your religions, like what it means to worship an idol, uh, means you're stupid. No, no offense, but it means you're, you're a simple thinker. Um, the, the fact that, like, I mean, Islam tends to be for si simple thinkers. No offense to all the Muslims. I know it's one of the most common religions in the world, but... Um, if you think that an idol has to do with a statue, then um, you don't understand um, fashion in the Middle East. <laughs> the, the idol of um, fancy clothes and the idol of fancy cars and, and the idol of um, what people actually worship in the Middle East. So anyways, um, at least that, that's my experience with Middle Easterners. All right, so... Um, when I, so I was planning on kicking out all the people that didn't let me go in the Dome of the Rock in Israel, in Jerusalem, because the Muslims wouldn't let me go into to the Dome of the Rock. They would. I I, I flew. I, I went all the way to freaking Israel from the United States. You can't go in here, even though I spoke Arabic. And so um, I was just gonna kick them out, and then that's why I was gonna take over that building. But the Church of Holy Sepulchre, I feel like you could just give me a little section of it. Um, but um, that would. Uh, be it sounds impossible that I would ever be in a situation where people would let me have um, a, a, a bedroom that's what we'll call it in the Church of Holy Sepulchre um, and um, yeah I don't think you understand that um, someday I think a lot of people are gonna find out that um, you're worshiping idols and those idols have to do with the name of what you believe and, and you're worshiping your own beliefs. And, and you worshiping your own beliefs makes you nowhere near the person that you're trying to get close to, which is the person that wrote the Bible, right? Because the Bible is written by God. 